Hello everybody, welcome to my sketchbook tour video, the first ever on my channel. We're gonna be going over some of the sketchbooks from when I was a junior till I was a senior in high school and past that, so let's get started. So this sketchbook was a Canson mixed media sketchbook that was probably like $6 from Michaels or something and the first few pages I'm not a big fan of, but here you go. I think I started this sketchbook when I was in the beginning of my senior year in high school, which was last year. A lot of the things in here are very unfinished. Um, very good looking and just overall bad a lot of them are bad but i still really like the sketchbook here are some faces that i drew and for instance right here i was drawing this comic and i never finished it and these are my first attempts ever at gouache I'm not- I did not do good on that one, and this one was my second gouache, and this third one was alright, but I haven't really picked up gouache since this sketchbook, and a lot of them are not gouache. Like, this one is awesome, but it's just regular pencil and, like, a pen liner that I had. And these are Frankenfurters, of course. Um, this is from Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. And I posted these on Instagram and I was so happy I got like 30 likes. That's kind of sad. Here's Rachel Berry and a few sketches that I I didn't like, but this Rachel Berry, this one was good. I just didn't end up looking anything like her in the show. Next is there's this guy I drew and you can see I did a little sketch at the bottom and then redrew it at the top and Star vs. Forces of Evil, I've never even finished the show but I did this for like a shrinky dink that I was making and I made the charm and I have no idea where it is now. This is Mercy from Overwatch. Um, this is a skin that I found with her online I really like. And I tried making my own skin for her but it's nothing special. Here's a Squid Kid Splatoon. I really got back into Splatoon that year. I'm going to kill you, of course. I was just practicing calligraphy. And this is a picture of somebody I got off of Pinterest or Instagram. And I really like the way that I shaded it. It just looks silly in a page with nothing else on it. These are a few swatches. I've gotten these markers from Blick Art, and I've been using them for like a year now, and they're pretty good. This is something that my boyfriend drew, and it's Vegeta, and I love it. And this is my Velma sketch that I did for the next page, but I ended up liking this one way more than the other one. Here's Fluttershy with the markers that I recently gotten, and yeah, here's a bloody Pinkie Pie. Of course, that's what it's all about. This is the Velma Chinkies. But anyways, I really like this drawing of Harley Quinn that I did. I actually did one before that was really bad, but it was like two years before this and I'll show the comparison, but I love how this one turned out. I'm probably gonna do it again and redraw it just to show how much I've gotten better from them. Here's a cat woman that I drew. And this is more unfinished sketches that I have, and that's the majority of the sketchbook. And this is something that I did in gouache, and I think it was the last piece I've ever done in gouache, so I should really get back to doing more, but I really enjoyed making it. I just got new brushes to use, so I'm gonna use those. And this is a portrait of a lady from the last season of Dexter. I forgot her name, but I just had a screenshot and I wanted to draw it. 
and this psycho girl with a knife that I decided to draw with some weird boots and forgive me for these creepy ass Pikachus and Kirby at the bottom is so scary. Like what is wrong with him? What happened? What did I do? I don't like it, but I like knowing that he's trapped inside this book. Here are a few sad girls again. Um, I guess I just draw my emotions. I don't know why. Okay, I'm not. I'm not an expert on anything that I do, and this drawing I definitely never drew in this style before. But I wanted to try it out, and I think it turned out pretty well. This is my walking phoenix drawing, and I think it looks pretty good. I just really hate the colors that I use with the markers. It doesn't go with the lining. But anyways, here's a Bratz drawing that I did of myself, and I really liked it. I just used like a 6B and a 4B and like 4H pencils to draw this, and I love the way the shading came out. This is actually something for a college assignment that I did, and I can put that up on the side too. It ended up being a really good outline. And these are some Sharpie drawings that I decided I wanted to do for TikTok. A lot of these are beginning to be for TikTok, like this one. I did the sketch and I decided I wanted to redo it, and the redo of the sketch was a lot better. But sadly, the other page bled through and it's a drawing that I don't even like that much. It's supposed to be Pinkie Pie as a human, I don't like it. And this is Rachel, Rachel Green from Friends, and this is Ross drawn by my boyfriend. And I actually used like an erasable pen on this drawing, and I'll show you in a second, but it's it has such a thick line but when you erase it it looks good it's just like not the darkest ink but i did like using it it was fun here i was starting to do a self drawing of me for tiktok and it turned out pretty good i like the one in the bottom left and the eevee the top is super cute next we have my page of garfs because I can't have a sketchbook without Garfield, especially this Garfield, I love him. They're here protecting me from that Kirby from earlier and I'm really happy about it. And here are some crappy drawings of Spongebob I did as a joke that I never even posted until I did an arts traits video and it was like for one second. But here are two people from Glee, Kurt and Blaine, and I tried to draw Kurt, like how he looked in the show, but it, it just really didn't work out. Blaine is much easier for me to draw, and they just don't look anything like the show again. Here's a creepy dog that I drew like three times, forgetting that I've already drawn it before, and uh, this dog is really cute. This is a rat girl I made, and people of South Park as animals. Here is when I tried to draw Harley Quinn like a comic book after just seeing the Suicide Squad movie, but it doesn't look right. I like the hand at the top, but I just didn't finish it, sadly. I should go back and redo that one. And here's where I tried to draw the same girl like five times for a TikTok and just wasted paper. And this girl, I actually like this one. To me, in my mind, it's kind of like a fluttershy, equestrian girl. And now we're moving on to these self-portraits I was trying to do. Like, here I did my hand and I did a few things that were in my room practicing. Like this fish. And that's me, and really that's the end of this sketchbook. But besides those things, I have this witch, and does anybody remember Bloody Girl? Because I remember it from when I was a kid. I was scared to see him in the frames of Invader Zim. I was scared. I thought he was really there haunting me. And here's some girl that I did based off of Jennifer's body and I just decided like 
I'm just gonna draw her, so that's it. My next sketchbook was like a $4 unbranded sketchbook from Ross and the first page is Bo Burnham because Inside had just come out at this time so it wasn't a long time ago. I like the way that this turned out, especially the thing at the top and I'm pretty proud that this is the opening of the book. And here I was trying to redraw Curtain Lane and it looks a lot better than from last time but it still doesn't look right to me. None of it does. This is a sketch that I did for the drawing on the right, which I ended up loving the drawing. I did a video about it on TikTok, but it actually got bled through from the other side of a drawing that I do like, but it wasn't worth drawing it to bleed through. This is a drawing and it's cute, but like I could have just not colored the skin and it would have been fine. And here's this platoon girl that I drew with all her favorite stuff on the ground with bubbles and stuff. And this is one that I drew with my friend on TikTok and I really like the way it turned out. It says crybaby on the shirt. I love the skirt at the bottom and the face like it just looks really good to me compared to my other work so far in sketchbooks. I wanted this to be a colorful sketchbook, but I quickly stopped that idea. <laughs> These are two drawings of my boyfriend, he was just there. And the next one I really like is hands, how they look, like I feel like I drew those really well. But still unfinished. And this is back when I had 200 followers on TikTok. Well, now I have like 850, so I'm very grateful. And yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a random drawing. You're stupid. And Timmy Turner, really ugly versions of him. But of course I gotta add a cat girl, because why not? Alright, next I have Cartman on this page. Yep. And this girl, I actually really liked how it ended up. I like the knees, I like the highlights on the legs. I like the shirt and the, of course, I like the blood that I did on her. I actually used one of the markers and a tissue. And here are some drawings from friends. This is Joey Tribbiani and Rachel Crane. I actually just watched the show, like I've never seen it before. But I just watched it and it was really good. And this is a little mini tattoo. I did not create the anime version that's in the show already. And these are some Weezer drawings I did with my brother. And that's me drawing my brother. And here's some more drawings that we did together. I just went to his house one day and we just hung out and did this. This actually goes out to Butterflies Art on TikTok. It was a draw this in your style, and theirs looks a lot better than mine. Credit to them. Here's a Bratz character. I don't know who. But I like the drawing on the right. We got Heidi and Cartman at the bottom. He's crying, and he has a Beast Mode shirt. I like the show. Care Bears, Hello Kitty. And here's some pop fish that I drew, which is very cute. These are two faces that I was trying to do without any sketching and they turned out really, really scary. But here's a portrait of myself. I really like the way that the glasses turned out and how my eyebrows look and everything. And it's really nice. And here I was trying to draw Joey again, but it really looks nothing like him, but at least it looks good. Here's a Goku drawing, which I really like the way that I drew him here. It's really cute. And this is an Overwatch drawing. I was doing these for TikTok, and this is a Mercy drawing that I love. I love how this one turned out. And right underneath is Winston. 
And here I was waiting in the airport and I saw a few people and I drew my dad's shoe, which is all messed up, but it looked cool. And here's Ratcatcher too. I love her. Like the movie go watch it and at this time i just met my sister's cat for the first time so i drew her a few times on this gaming chair i like how that one turned out and the one where she's sleeping and i'm not sure but i i focused a lot on bunnies when i was bored here and of course cinema row is a puppy very surprising this is just a setting that I drew while I was waiting for a plane, and I like the way it turned out. I have a kitty with a person thinking about a burger, which was probably me thinking about that, and this was a drawing I did for the new sci-fi Chucky show that I still haven't even watched. Like, everything I've been waiting for I haven't even watched yet. That's an Oingo Boingo album cover. And this is Dory C from Search Party. And I could show you some more fan art that I've been doing of her. Like, I just really love the show ever since my brother's been showing me it. And watch season five, guys. And here is two concepts for the art that I did on the next page, which I like the one on the next page, it's just that the girl on the left looks a little bit wonky. But they're supposed to be sisters in the story that I was writing, and it was just about falling out and drama and growing up and not being as close to your family as you wish you were. But that's that drawing. We have some classic Nikocado Avocado, and it's your fault, which I agree. It is our fault that we're fueling him, we're fueling the views with the dislikes, and he's getting all the clicks. And these are a few girls that I made up. I really like the one that one turned out to be, and this one's cute too. And an unfinished Mitski sketch, yeah. Another thing about this is I tried to draw Fluttershy in like this stylistic way that I'd never done before, so I went back and tried to make it how I wanted it. I didn't like it. But this is an original character I created that I've never really drawn again, but I should because she looks so cute. And here's Mac Caulfield from Life is Strange. I'm definitely going to try to play the remastered. And lastly, in the sketchbook are a couple of drawings that I did for my beginning drawing class in college. There's these people in my class who were drawing. We had to do an assignment where we drew people outside and they're my friends and they're really, really great at drawing, like all of them. Overall, this sketchbook was really fun to do and I'm still doing it, so if you guys have any suggestions on what I should draw, you can always comment them. And thank you so much for watching. Hope y'all have a nice day. Hopefully I can do another sketchbook tour in a year or something. <laughs>